they can run down a fly ball and turn two with the best of them. The top-ranked Gladiators are the defending Nebraska U-Triple-S-A champions and hope to take state again this weekend. Owners of a 40-5 record, this team is the best Omaha has to offer, and then some. Uh, we even have some outside Omaha kids. We have a, one of our players is from Fremont, and uh, one of our kids is also from Snyder, Nebraska. Drives 50 miles one way to practice every day. It's fun hanging with your friends and playing ball at the same time. You get a hit, field, and sometimes pitch. Sometimes also the coaches throw pop flies. They make us ruin, and then they just throw the ball. And they like doing the little things. We build a lot of our team around pitching and defense. Uh, we hit the ball, swing the bat, uh, bunt, move runners over, that type of stuff. Fundamentals. They're always sound when you play at the level of these kids. Pitching and defense. <laughs> Where have we heard that all week? Well, we've heard it from the same championship team that these gladiators model themselves after. Well, we have some Texas connections. We have a couple of our players grew up and were born in Texas. Um, Texas wins at the collegiate level, which I think appeals to these kids. A lot of the way we play is modeled after Texas. Taylor T. Garden. Drew Stubbs from Texas, Centerville. Right, and when confronted by big red fans, Corner scoops are better. Oh, that, that wasn't true this year. Mm -mm. Maybe as they get older, these happy 10-year-olds will begin to see red instead. Right now, there's nothing wrong with emulating the champions. The Omaha Gladiators are KPTM Fox 42, Team of the Week. If you ask me, I'll take Texas and beat.